Welcome back, folks, to some more. Ravenloft, the Stone Prophet. We need to make our way to the Oracle. All the way west. Just buck west. Buck it. Book it. Bukaki it. Bitch, you need to drink some goddamn water. You are looking thirsty. This is not the way to the village. You promised to take me home. With all the pain in my body, I curse you for not holding to your word. Oh, shut up. Please, let us... We will, Jesus, bitch. Relax. We have returned with a particular helm. There appears to be an aura about it. Yet how it might be aid you to speak, we are not certain. Yet you shall receive my words. Allow me to introduce myself, for I am called Min Deer. The helm. The helm of telepathy is with you, is it not? Yes, thank the sun you found it. Though I have foreseen its existence, I have been unable to leave this place, much less search for it. Dear woman, it is though the evil of this place is made of you an enemy, and want to be fought without mercy. Who has done this? Priestess of Set, one-time protector of Senmet, rotting corpse of evil. Of these, two titles does Isu Rakotep claim, while the third I give her gladly. That undead one took from me speech and sight, her goal to hide the truth I keep. The time draws nigh. The powers of this place take such measure to silence you, then your words are of interest. What can you tell us of this land? Har Akir. Hardly a land, this place. No more than a bit of sand as harsh as its name. The wind blows and the storms follow. The sands cut the air like a thousand blades. Then affliction, the disease comes to strike us down. We wither, we rot and die. All is the will of Anktapot. What is this truth? How might we help you reveal it? Anktapot. Yes, say it is one word, alone and unadorned. Anktapot. It is he who rules this land, who masters sand and frightened souls. Once, long ago, Anktapat ruled as pharaoh of a nation, both it and he as great as any union of land and king. It did not last. The exact things no mortal knows, yet he made enemies. Now Anktapat lies dreaming, his kingly robes but the shred and tear of a mummy's wrap. What is the truth, and how might we reveal it? The prophecy speaks of those who will... Could it be you? Ah, yes, the timing, the signs, it must be. Here, in blindness and pain, I have awaited your arrival. Know this. The blowing sands have at last revealed the obelisk. It awaits. I alone might lead you within it. Dear woman, I confess I'm confused. You speak of Anktapat as a terror. Is not this Isu Rektoptep, perhaps Sinmet, who brought you this terrible condition? Were Anktapat my enemy, my bones would long ago have lain open upon the sand, bleached and cracked by the sun. Isu is enemy enough for the likes of me, and Senmet long destroyed. Lead us within the obelisk? With all due respect, Friends, as you suffered, how might a blind woman lead the party anywhere? In the catacombs beneath the well, where the helm of telepathy you found, lies the shrine of a mortal woman, one once favored by the gods. Nefertiti was her name, a woman of beauteous gifts, including magical eyes by which certain secrets were revealed to her. In a vision, these two eyes appeared before me, centered in the dark circle of my thoughts. With them I might see, and in seeing lead you within the obelisk. Bring them to me. But know this, one of the eyes alone shall not do. Both must be recovered. I got him. Pick your time.
time in deciding. Please, you have so much time. A river of it flowing around you like a golden age. How long do you think it will be before the rotting disease of Harakir strikes you down? Even I am not immune. Yes, take your time. Learn too late that all I seek is to lead you. Lead you to the heart of the mystery. Drown in all the time you have, or answer my simple request. You may yet leave this place. Still your thoughts, woman. The eyes of Nefertiti are with us. Your passion concerning them prayers, the sincerity of your heart. Here are the eyes. Will you join with us now and show us the entrance to the Ablesk? As fate directs me, I shall join you. As my inner visions demand, I shall find the way within the obelisk. For what lies within, whatever it may be, holds the key to a larger fate, that of Harakir and all her people. But know you this, the fates of which I speak guarantee you no safety. The trail ahead shall be a harsh one, all the more so because you must now protect this blind old woman. I got it. Get to town. We got we got all these old blind women and shit in our party. Never in my heart did I believe you would be true to your word. Even as we approached the village, I could not allow myself to trust. Yet. You have returned me safely home. My th all that I have carried with me is yours. I leave it. Wow. Thanks. A fucking robe. And here we are in the town. The teleport stone has taken us here. So we go to the southeast. Seek a fourth party member for now. His name is Piotr. Come closer. Are you. Are you truly? Yes, a foreigner. Stranger to Harakir. I, Piotr, welcome you. I welcome you as though the sun rises in your heart and the cool moon proclaims us brothers. Now I know we are not alone, my sister and myself. These Harakiri prove dull company. The lucky of the wit of camel masters. The rest cringe in terror at the slightest stirring of the sand. You have a look about you familiar. You have a sister, you see. And brothers, too, though I fear for their souls. Their bodies are no longer to be worried over, for their dispirited, rotted flesh has left their bones. Only jackals have use for their remains. We are Vistani. Gypsies, some call us wanderers. For so long Barovia was our home, the mists our ally. We drew our wagons where we would, and the fogs, deadly to others, bothered us not. Speak of mist, a fog, did you become lost in this unwelcome pattern? Yes, we became lost. If when lost one trades mountains cool and snow-capped for the burning sands of Harakir. From his castle heights, the lord of Barovia called the Vistani friend. Here, the dull witch shun every soul not as dull as their own. And the rotting disease spreads. It comes upon you like a hot wind right through the walls of your soul it comes. My brothers and the others with us, they felt it. The hot touch of death. Thrawn is dead. My daddy killed him. 
We must tell you, your appearance is familiar because we have encountered your sister. She is dead. The same fate as your brother. If the wrath of a flea might fell a camel, then my wrath be upon Unkdepot. My sister! I had not seen her. I... She often stole away from us, alone. She would journey into the sands, seeking a way out of Harakir for us. Her magic was one to command the mist, and she blamed herself for bringing us here. Now it is all but done. Only I remain. So the villagers of Muhar are affected by it. They blame the Vistani. It is difficult to say what they believe. Though generally it is this. The lord of the land, Hongtapot, stirs in his ancient sleep. He is a mummy, wrapped as much in evil as in cloth. Though the cloth has tattered, the evil has not. It is he who sends the fierce storms across the land. Perhaps it is he who has released this strange rotting affliction. 